What's up guys, Lou here, and as you can see, I finally completed the Ultimate Gaming PC. I thank you for your patience on this project. I know it went longer than expected. Part of it had to do with me moving and getting into a bigger space, which you're looking at right here. This is my new office, and it means that I had room to get this thing sprawled out. It is imposing, it is a large system, and we've got three 27-inch monitors, which are really at the heart of it. These are from ASUS, and they're called the VG278HE. They feature 144 hertz in terms of refresh rate, which is awesome for gaming. They also feature 3D capabilities if you're into it. And when you put them together like this, they create a pretty immersive experience. If you guys are interested in pricing and availability on these gaming monitors, definitely check out the description. In fact, if you're interested on any of the components that are featured in the Ultimate Gaming PC, check out the description. That stuff will be down there as well. So moving across, you'll also see the Corsair K90 gaming keyboard. It's a mechanical keyboard. That's really a must for a gaming PC, especially a high-end gaming PC like this. You want to have a mechanical keyboard. You've also got the M90 mouse, which is a good match. And moving across a little bit further, you can see the gaming headset here. This one is from ASUS. It's in their Republic of Gamers lineup. It's called the Vulcan ANC. And the ANC stands for Active Noise Cancellation, which is a rarity in the gaming headset world. So these do feature active noise cancellation, which is going to be a good thing, especially if there are other people creating noise in your house and uh, you want to be immersed fully in your gaming experience. They have a detachable boom, so you can also use them just as a high quality set of headphones if you choose to. On the far side here, this is where the beast lives itself. This is what's powering the entire setup. Uh, we've got two GTX 680s in here, and they're probably well, they're one of the most important or two of the most important components. Uh, they're not regular GTX 680s. These are from ASUS and they're the Direct CU2 Top Edition. And the reason that that matters is because ASUS uses a binning process to find only the highest performing GPUs and then overclocking those ones. Every single GTX 680 is not capable of the same amount of overclocking. So all you really need to know is you've got two really powerful GTX 680s in here at the top range and incredibly overclockable. There's also a 3770K in here. I'm not gonna go into too much detail on the components because I've covered it in previous videos as far as what's going on internally. Uh, something else to mention, remember somebody's gonna win this system. I know it seems crazy. It's the biggest giveaway I've ever done. Somebody's gonna win this system, so definitely subscribe and stay tuned to figure out who it is and it should be uh, one hell of an exciting experience. Now let's go ahead and actually get into some performance. Let's run a few benchmarks. And as I said earlier in this video, I'm not sure, I think I mentioned it. Please, right now, go down in the comment section and let me know which games you wanna see featured on this particular system. And so I can give you guys a rundown of how it actually works in a gaming setup, in a gaming environment. That's what it's for after all. All right, let's jump into it. So the first benchmark software that we ran on the system is called Geekbench. It was heavily requested by you guys on both Twitter and on Facebook. And the score that I got was 13,663. This is coming from the free version of Geekbench, which only supports 32-bit tests. We'd see a higher score if we could run it at the full 64-bit. The next benchmark software is called Cinebench, and you're looking at it right here. This tests a couple of things, including CPU performance once again, but it also tests graphics performance which is important for us considering the fact that this is a gaming machine and it has two giant graphics cards in it. You can see the OpenGL figure is 67.03 frames per second. That sort of gives you an idea of the potential gaming performance of the system and it scored quite a bit higher than some of the other examples in the list. There's also a CPU component to Cinebench and that gave us a score of 9.13. Anyways, benchmarks are boring. The whole purpose of this system is to game. So I jumped into my buddy's Steam account right here and he booted up Counter-Strike. And as you can see, I'm not very good at it, but I did manage one kill in this little clip right here. And then I jumped to my own death. <laughs> he does a little bit better when he's playing himself. But the main thing here is the incredibly immersive experience that you get by having a three monitor setup, especially a three 27 inch monitor setup, which surrounds you, including your peripheral vision. It sort of makes you feel like you're actually in the world where you're playing. As I said earlier in this video, guys, I need you to let me know in the comments which games you want to see demoed on this particular system. I will download them, install them. I will, I will play them for you in the following UGPC videos. But as you guys can see, the system is fully functioning and it is time to play a few games and then give this thing away. So definitely leave a thumbs up down below if you haven't already yet, which I'm sure most of you have. And I can't wait to give this to one lucky 
viewer. So if you haven't subscribed yet, do that now too, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Remember, in the comments section, let me know which games you want to see, and also be sure to share this video with your friends if they're into this kind of stuff. I think this system is a beast, and it's performing really beautifully so far. All right, guys, catch you on the next video. Later.